What's going on Island Hoppers? We are coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. Let's do it. Baltimore is a very culturally rich historical city on the east coast of the United States, just north of Washington, D.C. As you can see here, home to Fort McHenry, where Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner, as well as several other historical people, including Edgar Allan Poe, who wrote The Raven, which is where the Baltimore Ravens get its name from the poem by Edgar Allan Poe. And as you can see here, it is on the Patsco River that connects to Chesapeake Bay. In this Baltimore travel guide, we'll show you around Inner Harbor, downtown Baltimore, and Fells Point, which is going to be an interesting place to see because of the road they call the Baltimore Bourbon Street. If you guys really love Baltimore and you guys are excited about this travel tour, crush the like button and let's begin. All right, guys, we're here in Baltimore's Inner Harbor now. This is the main downtown area right alongside Chesapeake Bay right here. Uh, you can see they've got uh, lots of restaurants and walking in this promenade right now. And if you guys uh, do come down here to Baltimore, this will be the main downtown area you want to be. As you guys know, there's a great deal of maritime history here in Baltimore. This ship right here, the USS Constellation, was an anti-slave trade ship. So what its purpose was to sink any ships that were bringing in illegal human cargo. And that's what the Constellation was known for, sinking slave ships. Now, as many of you all know, Baltimore is known for its food scene. We arrived in Baltimore fairly early in the morning on an Amtrak from Washington, D.C., so not a lot of the restaurants were open on this Tuesday afternoon when we were here, but we did end up finding a restaurant right here in Inner Harbor to go get some food, and uh, yeah, I did have an appetite and was ready for some Baltimore grub. We got a grilled cheese tri tip. Really good. And here's some fish and chips at the Tur Na Nog Irish Bar and Grill in Baltimore, right here on Inner Harbor. And what we're going to do now is actually take the water taxi over to Fells Point, uh, just to show you guys what it looks like when you do that. It is $15 one-time ride per person each time you get on it, so there is no such thing as a day pass for the water taxi. You have to pay each time you use it but it is a good way to see Inner Harbor. And if this is your first time to Island Hopper TV, consider subscribing and liking the video if you're enjoying this film so far. All right, here we are at Fells Point. This is considered the Bourbon Street of Baltimore. You can see out here on Fells Point, they have these old cobblestone rock uh, driveways, roadways with the old railroad. And as you can see, many different restaurants and lounges, cafes, there's a market down here, the Broadway market. You can see lots of people out here enjoying the afternoon sun. Uh, beautiful weather out here in Baltimore in the springtime, I will say for sure, uh, but just a generally good place to get out and socialize and have fun with your friends, family out here in Baltimore. And again, this area is called Fells Point. Now there are several other areas around downtown like Little Italy, the Inner Harbor like we mentioned before and even the power plant, which is a cool place to hang out. So lots of activities on the weekends and the evening time down here. Hi. 
So here we are at the Broadway market. This is like a farmer's market, especially on the weekends. But this area, this road right here is called Broadway. Something a lot of people like to do when they come to Baltimore is go out to Fort McHenry. It's one of the older uh, bases for the United States. That's actually where the Star Spangled Banner was written out there at Fort McHenry. You can take a water taxi out there. It goes every hour on the hour. Uh, today, we are not going to go out to Fort McHenry. And you can see it's hard work keeping Chesapeake Bay or the river here, actually. Wait, you can see this guy's looking for uh, pollution. The water is pretty brown, though. Okay, so if you look straight across the bay there, across the river, actually, you can see Under Armour. That's the franchise headquarters, corporate headquarters right there under on. About Michael Hankin, he was the one who had this vision to clean up Baltimore Harbor and make this area more walkable and livable. And because of him, uh, you know, Baltimore is in the shape that it's in today, which is pretty good shape.
All right, this area we're coming up to now is known as the Sandlot, a place to bring your kids and your whole family. All right, just some quick facts about Baltimore. It was founded in 1729. It is one of America's oldest cities, but it's the 30th largest population uh, density city with 500,000 residents. But if you include the entire metro Baltimore area, that's about 2.8 million. And if you include DC in that, you're talking almost 9 million, making it the fourth largest metropolitan region in the United States. This memorial is for the uh, Katyn massacre that happened in Poland. If you guys want to do some research, look it up K-A-T-Y-N, happened in Poland. Here's a fun fact, some people who come from Baltimore, Babe Ruth, David Hasselhoff, and Edgar Allan Poe. As you can see behind me though, these kids, they're taking their little boats, these ducky boats around the river area, or I would call it Chesapeake Bay, but it's more of a river. All right, in between Inner Harbor and East Harbor is a place called Power Plant. Let's go in here and take a look. So as you guys know, when you come to Baltimore, seafood is a big part of your experience. Right here is Phillips. So if you guys are looking for one of the most popular restaurants, it's right here and it's called Phillips. Next to the Hard Rock. So the nickname for Baltimore is actually known as the Charm City, but some people have called it the Crab City, the Cutter City, the Clipper City, because they've got those Clipper boats that go in and out of the harbor. So the city of many different nicknames, but right now it's known as the Charm City.
right here behind me is a piece from the World Trade Center. And if you look up, this is the Baltimore World Trade Center, the world's tallest five-faced building. And it just so happens to be here in Baltimore at the World Trade Center. All right, Island Hoppers, thank you for watching this episode of Baltimore, Maryland, this travel guide. We have many others from around the country, just like this. We did Washington, D.C. We're doing New York City, so do stay tuned for that. If you're new to Island Hopper TV, consider subscribing and watching some of these other travel guides from across the country as we continue to show you what it's like here in 2021 across the United States.